Nets fall apart late in 122-114 loss to Suns. Nets coach Kenny Atkinson said prior to the game his team needed to show more resolve in the face of adversity. It appears Nets players failed to hear their coach's message. After overcoming an 18-point second-half deficit, the Nets, 3-5, faltered under pressure in the fourth quarter, falling to the Suns, 3-4, 122-114, at Barclays Center to lose their third straight game Tuesday night. Atkinson appeared frustrated after the loss, explaining this isn't the same Nets team that stunned the Cavaliers a week ago and went 3-1 in preseason. Somehow we got out of rhythm this past three-game stretch. I felt it all night tonight, Atkinson said. I'm not sure where that team I saw in preseason and those first six games is. It just seems like we've lost rhythm and I really don't have an answer for you why that's happened. Trailing 83-65 midway through the third quarter, with star point guard D'Angelo Russell sitting on the bench, this game had all the makings of a typical Nets blowout loss. Instead, backup guard Spencer Dinwiddie sparked a 23-4 run to close out the quarter and give the Nets an 88-87 lead, sending the Barclays center into a frenzy. The Nets led, however, was short-lived, as Brooklyn would go nearly three minutes without a field goal in the fourth quarter, allowing the Suns to work their way to a 118-110 lead with 129 left to ice the game. While Devin Booker led Phoenix in scoring with 32 points on 11 of 22 shooting, Suns forward TJ. Warren was the one who helped close out the win down the stretch. With the Nets trailing by just one point with 3.48 to go, Warren proceeded to tally five points, four rebounds and blocked Russell's driving layup attempt in the closing minute of the game. I thought Warren really hurt us, Atkinson said. He had some big offensive rebounds at the end, and we couldn't keep them off. The Suns outrebounded the net 66-44 and shot 91.7% at the free throw line compared to 70% for the Nets. Got to want it more, got to come out and compete no matter what, Nets forward Rondi Hollis Jefferson said on the team's rebounding struggles. Suns guard Mike James continued his admirable job filling in for the banished Eric Bledsoe, finishing with 24 points on 9 of 16 shooting and 5 assists. Russell got off to a hot start for the Nets, scoring 20 of his game-high 33 points in the first half. The 22-year-old point guard looked especially comfortable working alongside Hollis Jefferson, as the two combined for 31 points on 12 of 18 shooting in the first half. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment.